Now, just to be uh, just to be warned on these Mercs, there's two size pumps, so there's two size shafts. And we got a don't know if you can read that. There's a four, five, six inch ID, and then there's a four, three, eight inch ID. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna measure the old pump, which is uh, this little guy here. I'm gonna measure the old pump, get rid of all the veins that I can find in the motor, and uh, we'll put the new one in. Here's another example of what happens. This is the uh, the top of the uh, pump cover, and there you can see all the remnants of that pump are spun up inside. So you have to pay attention to that as well. I just pulled the cover, the metal cover off, and that's what I found. So I got to take that out now. Stay tuned. So there you can see we put our new water pump in. It's going clockwise in the right direction. Looks good. Nice and pressed in there. Now what I do is I uh, I used a zip tie to get this guy in because there's a, it's not like a traditional pump where it's got a housing on the top and it just uh, goes on. So what I did is I zip tied around the pump so the veins ran in the, in in some form or direction until I could get it in. Um, there's a keyway down in here. I put a bit of grease on it so the keyway stuck to the shaft to uh, aid in assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this thing back together. We're going to try it in the barrel. All right, so. Uh uh, if the water tube comes out with the lower unit, that's a bad thing. The water tube has to go in, up into the power head, and then as you feed the lower unit, it goes into the water pump. So I've uh, just tested it out. Uh, I'll give you a little run here. not pumping anymore but I suspect it might have some garbage inside so we'll test it with the uh, tube off. <laughs> 